Thanks. So anyway, congratulations. Thanks. It's a funny movie, but it's serious. How, Diana, let's start with you. How do mm. you describe the family? So it's a, it's a mob family that is in the Witness Protection Program. They're starting off in Normandy, trying to assimilate, trying to be normal, which is extremely hard for them to do. I mean, take a mob family out of their element and put them in Normandy, it's not, it's not going to have, uh, you know, it's not going to go unnoticed. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be interesting things that happened. But how do you describe it? Well, I think uh, the whole story itself is about the characters, and it's amazing. I think the audience is going to be drawn to each character differently in its own way, and each character branches off separately, but in the end, the whole story is about how the family is together and how they'll protect each other no matter what. Mm. Fish out of water, definitely, though, too, yeah. wouldn't you say? Because Absolutely. some people just can't change. No, no, especially them. <laughs> old, ha old habits die hard. Yeah. Now, you're Belle. Mm. You play Warren. Very innocent looking kids. Very innocent. You're the yes. brother and sister. Yes. But we don't expect that from such sweet little <laughs> angelic faces. That's the good part about the arc of each character, though. You don't see it coming, and then bam! <laughs> it was so much fun to play. Oh, yeah. It's so much fun to play. I mean, Luke was on directing. You know what you're getting into, and, and that you're going to have incredible sequences like that. And it was such a dream. You know, you don't do those things in real life. Did you have to audition for this role? I mean, Diana, you have a nice, you know, back story of work mm, already. So um, it went a little backwards. Um, I just so happened to be in France at the time that it was casting, so I had a meeting with Luke. Luke had actually been in New York with Bob. Gets off at the airport. You rides. Said, you said Bob. Do you mean Bob De Niro? You're calling him Bob. Yes. <laughs> um, and he pulls up to the hotel in on his motorcycle. There's croissants on the table. It's so very French. We speak, and then he said, you know, do you want to do this movie? And I think he's crazy. I'm like, wait, but how do you know? And uh, we haven't read, and da-da-da, because I know what I know. But then, you know, other powers that be were like, just read her and, like, meet, you know, have her meet Bob and whatever. So I read with Luke. I go to New York. I go to Bob's office. And at this point, I don't have the job. You know, I think it's kind of in Luke's being nice, and he's like, it's fine. I'm like, huh. Uh, you know, and Bob's very, he's much more quiet when you first meet him. And so, you know, get through that experience. So it's about a month and a half until I officially have the word. And then it's relief. And and the relief aspect of it took a lot of time. And, and finally, when I realized, it was like, oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you? Now, you're, I, you had to audition, right? Yes, I had an audition and then a callback with Luke and then a meeting with Mr. De Niro in his office and then, until finally I got a call later. Okay. So who was the first person you told that you got this part? Oof, my brother Vincent, and he was, he's actually he was stationed in the Navy uh, at a country at the time, so I called him up all excited, and I said, Ben, you'll never guess what I just got. He goes, yeah, what? He's got a movie with Mr. De Niro and Michelle Pfeiffer. He goes, you're kidding me right now. I go, no, I'm serious. And he goes, okay, man, stay professional. <laughs> That's spoken like a true Navy man. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's talk about Bob, Mr. De Niro, mm. and, of course, Michelle Pfeiffer. What mm. is it like working with these two? I know, I know. So amazing. It's unbelievable. And they're so wonderful and caring, and, you know, Luke sets up the ultimate situation for you. He's so wonderful, and he loves what he does so much, and obviously they do too, or they wouldn't be doing it. So you're working with these people who love what they do, and you so admire them. So it's, it's a dream. It's a dream. For you? It's absolutely amazing to work with everyone together, because everyone knows each other so well also and then you have these people who come from a different country to act in a movie with everyone else and it's yeah, Luke's absolutely crew amazing. has been with him for yeah, years so for they're years. already a family and yeah and, yeah, and then so. we come along and then they welcome us with open arms and it's this absolute amazing experience and it was for three first, months Johnny's first time out of the country and it's my first time out of the country on top of that did you have to get your passport for this movie yes I did I know it's cool that is cool that is very cool but what is it about gangster movies I mean, this mm. is a twisted gangster family, yeah. right? Yeah. But what is it about the mob that we just can't get enough of? Yeah. They're awesome. <laughs> That's what I think it is. It's <laughs> the fact that it has the comedy flair with it, too. And it's mm. the, I think it's the culture that people fall in love with. And now yeah. this is the mix of Italian culture with the French atmosphere. And then it's just poof, yeah. magic. Yeah. And it's the, the extremes, I think, you yeah. know. But at the heart, 
of every family like that, you gotta stick together. And I don't know, I'm, a, I'm friends with a lot of Italian people back in San Francisco, and we always thought that our one friend's dad, we joked that he was in the mob because he was just like so slick and he's so good at what he does, and he's total patriarch, and he's just like, he's the man. Chris Fidesi, you're awesome. <laughs> and, and so yeah, we always joke, we're like, Chris is in the mob, like he's, he's the boss, you know? <laughs> And you, got, you just, just and you got to live out this fantasy. Yeah. Really. Yeah. You yeah. really you you held your own with those two icons That's with, nice. with Robert De Niro and Michelle Pfeiffer. Nice. I mean, you really got some great lines. Mm, I mean, yeah. you realize that, Thank don't you? It was so fun. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Well, it had to be fun. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. And how about the food? That to me was the biggest difference between French and America. Yeah. The French and the Americans was all this food stuff, wasn't right. it? Right. Oh yeah. Well, it was interesting going to craft service and, um, like you know, seeing a tray of escargot every day at lunch. But then everything that you would see, like beautiful grilled fish and vegetables and stuff like that. But you know, or wine, you'd never see yeah. at craft service. You'll never see wine on a U.S. set. Completely different um, culture. Amazing. Well, and that was such an important part of the movie, too, the yeah. food differences. So I yeah. guess that probably helped. Because yeah. I, we still had to have our pasta dinner at one time at our family. Cheeseburgers. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> I made, <laughs> that was funny, because burgers in France are not really the same. No, and so different. remember when I made? burgers oh, I for do. Luke I and do. everybody yep. is like kitchen, yep. in the kitchen and like everybody really liked them which yeah, is good so I did like it twice there, but it was there. funny the Americans cooking yeah. in the kitchen I'll be like okay I'll make <laughs> I'll make real burgers this is good I got this very good now so what are you going to tell your friends about the family why should they go see it besides the fact that because we're in it yeah and they have to be loyal yes absolutely I, I concur for the people that are not our direct friends they want to enjoy an amazing film. They have to go see this. Uh, and I yeah, think if you want to laugh, you, know, you want to have fun. You want to have fun. If you want to see it. Be shocked. Then you should go see it if you want to. And the trailer speaks for itself, I think. Mm. But luckily, the trailer doesn't give everything away. That no, it doesn't true. give everything Which away. Which is good. It's good. Do you think there'll be some extra scenes in the DVD? I mean, when Hopefully. that comes out, do you, yeah. what do you think? What, you, I don't think so though, because yeah. everything we shot is in the movie. That is true. Luke is so good is about no, didn't have any reshoots. Didn't have any ADR. We just did it. Minimum CGI, minimal. I don't. Did we, we used the green screen like I don't even oh, think twice. Twice. Maybe, yeah. not even, the last week. Yeah. Fire was real. Gunshots were real. We used blanks. We were real. We were real. <laughs> I warned him going into this. I was like, just say no. I'm goofy in these interviews. So like, some things I say might be serious, and some She's things. She's fun. Are... I got to hang out with her every day on set. Great. Well, That's you were nice. fun to watch, Thanks. and I know you've got a birthday coming up. Uh, no, it was so passed in July. It was in July, yeah. eighteen, right? Yeah, just it was 18. turned eighteen. And you know, Bob you, just had a you birthday. two, yes, and also Michelle's birthday. Was yeah, in, is in Michelle and I are one day apart. Well, yeah, and then Bob's is all. You got Bob. You got me calling him Bob. That's wrong. Yeah, <laughs> wrong, wrong. I've never talked. Okay, okay. 